ladies if you're new to my channel welcome and if you've been here before welcome back welcome back what's up what's up um today is like doomsday and i'm gonna explain to you why so it is monday february 22nd i do not know when this video will get uploaded but it's monday february 22nd and i am actually on my way to the school building yeah 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 so everybody knows the panoramic has happened we quarantined school shut down and all that good stuff but now they are making us enter into the building again so luckily our teachers union looked out and they got us some days to actually set up our classrooms because we were expected to just you know show up today ready to set up our classrooms and teach at the same time um to me i feel like that is just rude and insensitive and as I've always said before they don't really care about the well-being of teachers because some of the mandates that have come out have just been interesting to say the least like I just feel like at the end of the day they looked out for you know students to get back into the classroom but I feel like they didn't really look at the workload of a teacher especially a teacher with kids now, I am not a teacher or educator with children but I feel for all of my educators out there who are also teaching virtually or going back into their school buildings and you also have little ones that are either in school or not in school yet so that brings me to my annoyance of the whole situation I am not gonna go on and on about how I feel about going back into the building but I will say a lot of things just don't make sense to me and I'm just gonna leave it at that to be honest like i'm just gonna leave it at a lot of things just don't make sense to me especially when it comes to the overall experience of the student in school because i think people are expecting at least in my county at least people are expecting school to be how it was before and it is not gonna be like that at all there's no person-to-person -person interactions like we can't even sing so it's definitely gonna be different on top of all of that, like, I know my school hours, don't get me wrong, but, um, nobody actually gave me, like, an actual time that I had to show up at work. So I'm just assuming I had to show up before the kids get there. I what time that is, but, you know, at my other school, it was, like, a mandated time. Like, you had to be here at 8.15. There were no ifs, ands, buts about it. So, I guess I'm on par to be on time. But I still have to carry like all these boxes and stuff in. And I'm just not interested in wearing the mask all day. Like I'm not. Like, I'm not interested in wearing the mask all day at all. And then I saw this thing where it says teachers are supposed to wear headphones while they're teaching. I, I just I don't want to wear headphones while I'm teaching. Like I don't want to have to walk around my classroom and teach and wear have like y'all, it isn't so much, but welcome to your inside look of what it's like to go back to the classroom. My classroom will be set up with the bare minimum. Um, mostly because I don't have a lot of kids returning in person, but I have a couple, so that still throws everything off. Like, y'all, I don't know. Pray for your girl. But I'm going to head to this school, and I'll catch y'all when I get there. All right, guys. So I am in my classroom. It is actively snowing outside, so that was a lot of fun. I still have stuff that I'm going to bring tomorrow because I was not trying to hold it on myself. Okay? So... Yeah, there's that. Um, I have to flip my classroom around because when they set it up, they set it up backwards. So this side is where the projection screen is, but if you notice, all the desks are facing that way, so now I have to turn all of the desks around to face this way. Also, my U table has no leg on it. Let's go look. No leg. It's missing. I almost knocked the whole table over because the leg is missing. But look, the leg is over there, not on the table. Remember how I said my table was missing a leg? Well, I took a box off of that end there, and this is what happened. It's a great day today. Y'all, I cannot figure out how to get my technology set up. I don't have all the cords I need, and I've been working on this for hours, and it will not work. And I'm just frustrated. Like, look, my hair even looks how frustrated I am because. I can't do it. And it's frustrating. And they're like, oh, well, we can get the cords ordered for you, but you won't get them by the end of the week. I don't want to have to keep doing this. So I just ordered the cords I think I need from Target. And I'll just use those. And then when they get me my cords that I need, I'm taking those right back to Target. My entire day today was just awful. 
I spent literally my entire day trying to set up my technology and it still didn't work. I didn't have the right cord, so I had to order the cords, but the people in the county are supposed to give me the cords, but who knows when they're gonna give me the cords, so I had to order them. Um, but they won't be here till Thursday. So then I have to fight with all of this stuff until I get like the course that I need. And it's really, really frustrating because I wanted all my technology set up today so that I didn't have to worry about it later. So this is just day one of setting up the classroom. Tomorrow I have to teach from the classroom. So yeah, going back to school is ghetto, okay? So tomorrow I will show you guys like what my final setup of my classroom looks like. Hopefully somebody brings in some cords and I can get the projection stuff working, but then I don't even have a rolling chair. Like I need to get a rolling chair because one of my coworkers said they had an extra one. And then she decided that she needed her extra one. I don't know. I'm just gonna get my own chair, so. On to another day. I literally am about to just lay this week and go to sleep. I don't have anything prepared for lunch tomorrow, but we back in the building. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout this entire week of the woes. And then March 1st, those students are rolling in the classroom. Hey, Sharpies. I'm on my way to actually teach. The kids are not there, but I'm teaching virtually. Like you've seen me do from my house, but now I have to do it from the classroom. So I've been on the hunt for a good desk chair an inexpensive desk chair because as soon as you log on, it's like, oh, this chair is $250. I'm not buying a $250 chair. I barely want to buy a $100 chair. So I was having this conversation with my sister yesterday and she was like, they don't provide y'all with chairs. I said, no, I also don't even have a desk in my room. So a chair is definitely a stretch. But yeah, they do not provide us with chairs. So now I have to buy my own chair. But for this week, it looks like, um, I'll be using the student chair, but I bought my body pillow so I can like sit on it and drape it over the back to kind of create me like a chair with some cushion because if not, then I'm going to be struggling. I refuse to teach this school year uncomfortable. Now I'm going to wait to the building. Still got more boxes in the bag. I'm not, I'm probably not going to unload this stuff this morning because I just don't feel like it. I feel like my hands have always been so super full. I don't like it. I mean, I have like my book bag, I have my purse, and I think I used to, I used to use my book bag as my purse. So I would just put my wallet and stuff like in my work bag. But I really like the idea of just having my purse. But this is one too many bags. I have my lunchbox, my book bag, my purse, and my body pillow. And it's just too much. But I did have enough time to make me a smoothie. I think this is around the time that I can leave and get to work at a decent time. I'm only about 20 minutes away. And I left my house around like 7.55. So I should get there around 8.15. And when the kids are back in the building, the bell does not ring. The first bell does not ring until 8.20. And then apparently late bell rings at 8 35 and I guess that's when school is supposed to start no one has really actually told me any of this information I'm just guessing so guess someone please don't judge my appearance today I am highly upset okay so today is what Wednesday and this is the first week back into the building and I feel like there's always some shenanigans that occur so yesterday, all I did was teach virtually from my classroom and then I sat there. Then I had to sit through a staff meeting, which really could have been an email, like just email the PowerPoint out. Like, why am I sitting in a staff meeting? So at the end of yesterday's staff meeting, we get told that we had to come to work today. They also told us, well, the county told us that Wednesdays are work from home days. So I'm confused and upset on why I have to go into the building today. And the leadership basically stated that because our union bargained for us to set up our classrooms today we have to come in and set up our classrooms what is there to set up so when i get in there today i'm gonna show you my classroom so then it was like this whole explanation on how we have to set up the webcams and make sure they work well if you guys saw earlier in this video on monday i spent the whole day trying to set up my technology and i do not have the appropriate cords or technology to do so 
i.e. my projector is old as dirt. I go and I explain this and they're like, oh, we'll get you some cords maybe by the end of the week. So what am I doing today? Because if all my technology cannot communicate to each other, then what is the purpose of me going into this building? I don't need to be here to plan. I don't need to be here to figure out what I'm going to teach virtually, what I'm going to teach in person, because it doesn't make sense. Majority of my kids are virtual. So I'm not going to cater my teaching style to in-person learning when I had three kids in person. And the rest of my class of 21 is on the computer. I am upset. I'm really upset. But I got an appointment at 12 o'clock. So I'm going to do my little 3.5 hours and then I'm going to my appointment. And then I'll teach my small groups after that. Yo. It is Thursday and it should be Friday because I'm just tired. I'm tired of waking up and coming to work every day. And I gotta look forward to this for the rest of the year. Like, what? This is actually me on day five. I know I did a bad job of showing you guys the days and the progress, but really there wasn't much for me to put up in my room. So yeah, I'm just typing and planning because they gave us a half day on Friday and I was not allowed to leave. I'm gonna show you guys one last updated video of my classroom and give you an overview on what it looks like. And yeah, that's all I got. This was definitely a long drawn out process and I feel like it didn't have to be, but just look and see what I turned my room into before and after. I also didn't show you guys much because there really wasn't anything to do. I spent most of the days literally in someone else's classroom running my mouse or just trying to plan so I could be ahead of the game for when my kids come in. It's Friday. I made it to Friday. But I ordered another cord right because remember i was having technology problems on monday the second cord i had ordered was not fit so i cannot connect my monitor to my computer as of yet and this hp monitor does not have an hdmi port because i'm just used to hdmi but i think so i'm not so well Okay, so the room is pretty much set up. It was a hard, long setup week. Teaching in the classroom like this is very strenuous, and I do not wish it or recommend it for anybody, to be honest. Um, my technology is still not set up, so right now I just have my computer plugged right into my projector, and that's all I've been using. If you notice in this video, like my monitor and stuff is gone, <sighs> yo. It's been a lot, okay? It's, do I look like a struggle? Because your girl been struggling. Sticking with me on this week long update. I know I did a bad job of recording, but this is pretty much how my room came out. And this is just what it's gonna be for now. I didn't wanna put up too much. You know, you don't want the kids to be touching things and all that kind of stuff, keeping all of our surfaces clean. And since I have to clean their desks and transition times and all, it's just a lot. So don't touch anything, pretty much. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you in my next video.